Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Torvald Ruse, and today I want to talk to you about something that's not talked about a lot, but that is skills in EVE Online. Skills are extremely important in EVE Online, and I'm not talking about piloting skills, I'm talking about actual skill points. That 5% difference in one skill level, or even not having a support skill trained up, can be the difference between you living and dying, whether that's in the Abyss, PvE, or even PvP. To start out with, I'm going to talk about the basic ship skills and what those effects have, and then I'm going to go into the five major offense and defensive categories and EVE Online from armor tanking, shield tanking, gunnery, missiles, and drone skills. All of those main skills and support skills in those categories. Uh, to start off with, I want to talk about ship skills. These are pretty easy to understand, so I wanted to get, get this knocked out. Um, here I have the Gila. I chose the Gila because it actually draws from two different skills rather than the typical T1 uh, cruisers that only draw from that race's skills. Um, the Gila actually gets a bonus from Galente Cruiser and Kaldari Cruiser. You can see right here those bonuses. 10% to kinetic and thermal missile damage and 4% bonus to shield resistance. Now these are dependent on these skills. So for every Kaldari Cruiser skill level, you get a 4% bonus to shield resistance. And that adds up at level 5 Kaldari Cruiser, you get 20% total to your shield resistance. And same with the Galente Cruiser. So at level 5, you're getting a 50% bonus to kinetic and thermal missile damage. So that's pretty easy, right? All right, now for armor tanking. You can see here I have a, just a normal medium armor repair attack 2 up on screen. This is for usually cruisers. These are the three skills required, or rather two skills required to use this module. And you can hover over and see what the bonuses those skills are. So you can see here mechanics for 5% bonus to structure hit points and then repair systems for you get a 5% reduction in repair systems duration. So that means the things cycle faster. The, the module cycles faster. But things you don't see on this list are things like hull upgrades. Also the compensation skills. So these skills can, if you're armor tank, you'll want these skills. Because the hull upgrade skills, they'll increase your armor by 5% per level so you get five percent more you know obviously at level five you get 25 percent more armor and then the compensation skills so usually when you're armor tanked you'll have some kind of module that increases your resistances and these skills right here they affect that so they basically give you increased resistance for using those modules so here's all the skills um, like i said this list has these but there's also the additional ones it's pretty simple the more complicated stuff is when we get into gunnery and missiles there's a lot more support skills but yeah here's some other skills to think about when you're armor tanking all right shields is where we get a little bit more lost in the weeds if you're just looking at the requirements tab there's a lot of skills that can help your shields you can see right here you need power grids and shield operation just to use this module uh, shield operation gives you five percent reduction in shield recharge time per skill level but the skills that you don't see in this list are right here so you got shield management which increases your your shield capacity about five percent per level shield compensation that means this booster right here will use less capacitor so your capacitor will last longer so maybe if you if there's a fit that you aren't cap stable on but someone else is it could be this skill right here you know the difference it's two percent per level so that can get pretty significant over a large scale and then also just like the armor you've got these compensation skills here then increase your resistances for every level. So if you have these on there, that'll make your shield last longer if you have something like an adaptive on or any of those hardeners on there. Now drones, guns, and missiles are usually where people get lost on the support skills. So for example here, I have a 425 millimeter autocannon tech two on screen. This will typically be used by vagabonds, munins, or broadswords in the abyss. There's a long list of skills here. Now this is the tech two, but one thing to remember is a lot of these support skills help all the guns, not just the tech two. Um, so you'll see a couple of these support skills thrown in here uh, gunnery motion prediction obviously you need those to start off basic the actual skills for the weapons themselves so right here medium projectile turret gives you five percent bonus to damage per level bonus to your damage so for the tech two you obviously need level five but if you're just using a tech one gun every level gives you five percent bonus so that's pretty easy and then the auto cannon specialization skill here that gives you 2% bonus per skill level to the damage of anything requiring this skill. So all the Tech 2 weapons, they'll get a 2% damage per skill level. So say you're flying a 425mm autocannon on a Vagabond and you're not putting as much damage out as someone else is. Chances are you need to train this skill up. Maybe you've got it level 1 or 2, so you need to get... Now the support skills. Um, everything else... 
pretty easy, but the support skills is where a lot of people get lost and messed up. So if you go here to your gunnery tab, you wanna make sure you're showing all skills. There is a lot of support skills for weapon. For example, right off the bat here, controlled burst, 5% reduction in capacitor need of weapons turrets per skill level. And that applies to all turrets. So lasers, auto cannons, blasters, all those, every skill level in this means that weapon uses less capacitors. So if you're flying a Mars ships, you're running around with lasers, you really wanna have controlled burst trained up because lasers use a lot of cap, a lot of capacitor. Gunnery is one that you typically need across the board for all of them, so that should be pretty easy. A couple other, there's a nice little pile of support skills right here, and these are all pretty important. So if you're not applying well enough or you're not doing enough damage, chances are you need to up these skill levels. So motion prediction increases your tracking speed. 5% per level. So if you notice you're missing a lot of shots, you're having a lot of trouble, you can train that skill up and you know you get a total of 25% bonus turret tracking speed if you're at level five. Rapid firing increases the rate of fire, so you'll do more damage obviously because you're firing faster. Sharpshooter increases weapon optimal range per skill level. And again, these are skills you wouldn't know about if you're just looking at this list, but these are very incredible auxiliary skills that help you out increase your damage. Couple other ones here, surgical strike, 3% bonus per skill level to the damage of all weapon turrets. Increases damage on everything. Trajectory analysis increases your turret accuracy fall off. You know, if you're having trouble keeping stuff in range, train that up right there. But those are all the support skills for, you know, for turrets. So any kind of this, all these apply to small, medium, large, even extra large capital turrets. Like all these skills apply, pretty important skills to train up and they'll help you a lot. And the, all these weapon skills, like, you know, guns, missiles, drones, they all have these skills that help that you wouldn't think about if you're just looking at this list right here. So just like gunnery, here are missiles. Uh, missiles are another one where there's the skills and the requirements list, but then there's also a bunch of support skills that you don't know about. So you can see here, heavy assault missiles. See the skills here. Typically you've got the actual skill itself increases by 5% per level and damage. And then you got the specialization skills, same as the gunnery, nothing different there. Missile launcher operation, 2% bonus, the missile launcher rate of fire, you need that skill. So those are the skills right there in requirement list, but missiles are kind of different. So application is a is a thing with every weapon system, obviously, and missiles work on a different set of mechanics compared to, compared to turrets. So when you look here in the list, there's a couple of support skills here and they're kind of bunched up right here in the middle, which is really nice. Missile bombardment, 10% bonus to all missiles maximum flight time per level. That means your missiles will go farther. They'll be able to fly longer, meaning you'll be able to hit targets farther out just by training that. Missile projection, 10% bonus to missiles maximum velocity. So not only can they fly farther, they can go faster. So they're gonna fly farther. Rapid launch, this has to do with how fast they fire, 3% bonus to rate of fire per level. And then right here, target navigation prediction. So missile mechanics and application, that's a whole nother subject, but just for brevity of this video, target navigation prediction, 10% decrease per level in factor of target's velocity for all missiles. So that really helps if you're hitting like smaller, faster stuff. If you have this skill trained up, you know, usually missiles, they have a explosion velocity and the damage that applies to the target depends on their actual, you know, their signature radius and all that and their speed. This skill will make it more favorable to you. That way you can hit them more easily. So yeah, there's the missile support skills. Like I said, missiles are a whole nother subject compared to turrets. They have a whole nother set of rules, but these support skills can make a huge difference. And you know, if, if you've got these, you know, these damage skills all the way up to maximum, but you're still not killing stuff and you're still not doing a lot of damage, it's probably because you need some support skills. You're not hitting out far enough or, you know, the signature radius, the velocity, you know, all that's too much. Check out these support skills. Make sure you train them up if you're struggling with getting damage out of the missiles. All right, so the last one I'm going to talk about today is drones. So all you Gila pilots, pay attention. This one's for you. Um, I have here pulled up a Valkyrie Tech 2 because you'll use a lot if you're flying a Gila, especially in Gammas. Now, one thing between... Tech 2 and Faction, I always tell people about. Tech 2 drones are for damage because they get a bonus from this medium drone specialization or a Mimitar drone specialization skill. All the four medium drones have that. So they do more damage, but Faction drones have better application and they have more hit points. So keep that in mind depending on the situation. But yeah, this skill right here, Tech 2, does more damage than Faction drones. Um, other than that, you've obviously got your other skills here. Medium drone operation increases damage of all medium drones. And then your drone skill level, which you don't need level five if you're just using a Gila, but I recommend training it because you'll use five drones in a lot of situations in EVE. So get that up there. It's not a hard skill to train. But some of the skills that get lost, some of the skills that people don't really think about or look at when they're using drones are all these support skills right here. I mean, luckily they're all, you know, kind of bunched together here on the skill list. Make sure you have all skills and select as you can see everything. First off, drone avionics increases drone control range by 5,000 meters per skill level. So if you have this at level five, your drones can go an extra 25 
kilometers, you know, compared to someone who doesn't have this trained at all. This ain't a requirement for a lot of drones, for any of the drones actually, but it increases how far they can go out. Drone interfacing. This one is very important. 10% bonus to drone damage and drone mining yield per level. Obviously, we're not dealing with mining drones, but 10% bonus to drone damage. That's 50% increased damage at level five with drone interfacing. That's that's a lot. Drone sharpshooting. This one will actually help a lot more than you realize. 5% bonus to drone optimal range and fighters, but we're not dealing with fighters. Five, that's 25% to optimal range. That's a lot. It's a quarter of their range increased, you know, because drones sometimes they have an issue with out tracking themselves or they're going too fast and you lose a lot of applied damage. So that that's a good skill to have. Drone durability. If you're like me and you're infamous at losing drones because they, they just disappear out of nowhere. Drone durability increases their shield, armor, and hit points. 5% per level. So if you want some tanky drones, get that. If you're like me and you lose a lot of drones, get drone durability. Just do it. Drone navigation. 5% max velocity per level. Your drones go faster. I don't think there's anything more to say about that. They go faster. You need that. Your drones going faster is good for you. Causes things to die quicker. So there you go. Those are all the drone support skills. Like I said, if you're just looking at this list right here and you're never looking at these, you wouldn't realize how important these skills are. And these skills can make, you know, a huge difference in your runs. Train up these drone support skills, especially if you're flying a Gila. Hopefully this video has helped you. Um, a lot of these support skills get lost and people don't know about them. So take advantage. Sometimes it's better to train rather than training a required skill to level five. You're better off training a bunch of support skills to level three. Those can make a huge difference. So get those support skills trained if you're struggling. Definitely get those on there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, or you can hit me on Discord, which you'll find the link to the Discord, you know, description of the video. And I'll be putting out another video here soon about the other skills, such as navigation, engineering, rigging, and targeting. Those are all also important skills, but I just wanted to cover the five important categories from the different weapons and tank systems in EVE. So yeah, hopefully you've learned something in this video. Hopefully it has helped. Like I said, let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the abyss.